We have a list of powertrain improvements and technologies that I'll cover with you. But first of all, just to restate the goals. First of all, improve fuel economy, improve performance, drivability, and then also add capability so that we can support the added payload and the trailer towing capability. So let's start with the legendary Hemi. Very mobile technology here. And we have a broad range of performance, avoiding the peakiness or lag that may exist in the turbocharged engine. We have 410 pound-feet of torque, 395 horsepower, and we're introducing our e-torque mild hybrid technology. First in the industry, in this market segment, at this uh, voltage level 48 volt system, and also to this extent. So in terms of this technology, what we're doing is we've replaced the conventional alternator. So we now have a heavy duty motor generator unit, and it's paired with what we call a power pack unit. It's a 48 volt power pack unit, lithium ion. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. But with that system, we've got basically four things that we're doing. First of all, as I said, we've replaced the generator, so we're now supporting the 12 volt battery and the 12 volt charging system with our e-torque system. And so that's one of the, the, the first key functions. Um, secondly, we are now offering engine start-stop functionality. And the beauty of this configuration is that it's faster and it's smoother so that when you restart the engine compared to a 12-volt 12, uh, 12 starter base system, for example, the engine starts up very quickly, less than half a second, very smooth and seamless for the driver. <coughs> the other thing we're doing is we're able to boost torque and blend torque. Um, and so from the standpoint of how we're able to use the, this motor, just to give you an example, um, during the start-stop functionality, we can boost up to 130 pound-feet of torque during an auto start, um, 16 horsepower. Um, the fourth functionality that we have here is uh, what we call regen. So if you're decelerating or light braking, we're able to uh, regen the energy and basically charge feed that 48 volt power pack unit. Um, other ways that we're using the, the boosting and the blending, um, if you think about shift transitions, um, and even with our deceleration fuel shutoff, we can now use that feature all the way into third gear because of the enabling um, uh, contribution of, the, of this uh, mild hybrid system. So relative to the 48 volt power pack, um, you don't see it here, but it's mounted interior to the cabin. It's on the rear face of cab behind the seat, so it's not compromising the cargo area. Um, it is a 12-cell lithium-ion, um, nickel, manganese, cobalt chemistry in those cells. It's about the size of a small suitcase or a briefcase, and again, it's mounted on that, that back wall. Um, so it, it has the benefit of the conditioned uh, um, temperature in the occupant compartment, but it also has dual fans that are also there um, to provide cooling. So as far as fitting this motor, uh, obviously we had to change the front end accessory drive. So we now have a dual plane configuration, um, two tensioners. We have an eight rib belt now that's a high strength belt to be able to handle the bi-directional torque that our heavy duty motor generator is providing. So again, focused on fuel economy and efficiency, but also drivability and performance improvements. What I'd like to do now is walk just past you, sorry. And uh, let's talk a little bit about the transmissions here. So all of the Ram trucks will be offered with um, an, this eight-speed automatic transmission. Um, this configuration here is the ZF transmission. Changes for the new Ram, uh, for example, we have added a hydraulic accumulator. It's a, a key contribution when, we, when you think about the engine start-stop functionality, this basically pre-charges that forward clutch so that when the engine starts up again, you're not waiting for the transmission. You basically get um, instantaneous uh, performance from the transmission. Uh, we also have faster processing time. Um, the transmission controller, the engine controller, the hybrid controller, they're all working together. So we have a faster processing time and we also have 
40 shift maps, basically, that the transmission is determining which one is needed, depending on what's happening with the vehicle conditions. Moving on to the transfer case. Um, so we have two transfer cases available. One is the driver selectable, and then we also have the on-demand system that senses wheel slip. Um, the board warner transfer cases have both been upgraded to address the requirements of added capability, so hardware changes, loop changes internal to the, to the transfer cases. As far as our rear axles, um, we have three rear axle ratios that are offered. We already talked about the six lug hubs that have been added to address the payload and towing capability increases. Um, the rear axle, uh, you can get open differential, um, limited slip differential. The, the new feature here for the RAM in 2019 is that we have an electromagnetic locking differential. So Ryan showed you where the controls were located beneath the rotary switch. So the driver can actually choose to lock the rear differential uh, depending on their, their conditions and to obviously maximize the torque. Um, that, that clutch will actually um, lock up to 50 RPMs and then it will unlock below 25 miles an hour and it will stay locked um, for the driver until they deselect it basically. Finally, we've added a thermal management system. This is a first in the industry. You don't see the plumbing here, but the rear axle, uh, we've actually um, added a three valve configuration at the front of the dash. And what we do now is that after the interior um, comfort has been reached in terms of the heater core, the valve shoots coolant back to the rear axle so that we're quickly warming up the rear axle fluid, again, focusing on efficiency. And so that's an enabler to help us improve um, fuel economy. Um, similarly, we uh, have a transmission heater that we're also using, again, to quickly heat up the trans fluid. And obviously, these, these um, elements are also useful in cool under high load. The one thing I didn't mention was uh, we've We've done away with uh, the traditional engine clutch uh, fan driven off the front of the, the engine. Uh, we now have an electric fan. It's an 800 kilowatt, I'm sorry, 850 watt uh, fan that is now on the, the front clip. It's uh, pulse width modulated controls, lower mass, reduces parasitic losses. So again, you can kind of see the theme here. Um, I'd also like to touch on our um, Pentastar engine here real quickly. So this will be the base engine. And again, it's fitted with the, uh, um, the mild hybrid system. So in this configuration, uh, we'll be adding up to 90 pound-feet of torque, or 12 horsepower, again, during the auto start maneuvers. Um, the engine is rated at 305 horsepower, um, 269 pound-feet of torque. And some of the technology changes, again, variable valve uh, technology, um, a broad torque range here, you'll have 90% of peak torque between 1,800 and 6,400 RPM. Um, and then also we've added a two-step variable valve lift technology, which blends uh, fuel economy and, and performance. So if the driver demands more perf performance, that lift uh, position changes and, and uh, provides the additional power.